Welcome back to New Little Life. I'm excited today to show you this new pump that is out on the market. This pump from Babyation is different than any other pump I or many moms have seen before. I am loving all of the new tech that people are coming out with. This pump was made by women engineers. I have loved getting to know them and exploring this pump. So let's dive into it today. Let's talk about how it works, what makes it different. And then at the end, I'll kind of give you my feedback on who I think this pump would be good for and maybe who it wouldn't be the best for. <laughs> all right, let's dive in. If you're new to the channel, my name is Allison. I'm an IBCLC, a nurse, a mom of three little boys, and a breast pump expert. And I have a program called Pumping for Working Moms. If you're interested in learning more about that and how I work with moms directly, you can find that in the description. Okay, let's dive into this pump. This is, like I said, one of the most unique pumps I've ever encountered. So let's just kind of dive into what makes this pump different than other pumps on the market and go from there. So first of all, this is an all-in-one pump system. So as you can see, it's got the bottles and a milk cooler. These are the phalanges, which we're gonna talk about in a second, so small. Tubing, everything is all-in-one, okay? It has a nice little handle, so this is the entire pump, all right? Let me grab my Spectra and I'll show you kind of a size comparison real quick. Okay, so here you go. All right, so it's a little bit long width-wise, but it's very skinny. Uh, these are about the same weight as well, which is impressive because this is an all-in-one system. It's got your cooler and bottles and everything in there too. Okay, so one of the most innovative parts of this pump is the phalanges. So here's like a manual pump. You've got the flange, bottle, all of that stuff. This is the one from Babyation. <laughs> okay, so there's obviously a huge difference there. And there's a huge difference in how it works. So as you can see, this is incredibly small. This is incredibly short here. Um, so let's talk about all of that. This is designed to go in the bra, okay? So it does come with little breast pads. So this sits in here like this and sits right inside your bra. The tubes will come off there, which I'll show you in a second. But this thing is so small, okay? And it differs from some of the other wearable pumps that we have because when you have a wearable pump like the Willow or the LV or something like that, the whole motor and everything is right in your bra, right up in your breast. It's kind, it's, it's bulky, you just can't get around that, right? It's not as, um, it's more discreet than having like a phalange hang off of you, but it's still, it's a lot to be in there. This is like one of the most discreet things I've ever seen. The suction is also quite different. Um, I will hook it up in just a minute and show you what it does because it's not a traditional pull release. It does have a little bit of constant suction, meaning that it attaches to the breasts and it can stay there, meaning you can pump braless. That's awesome. You can also pump laying down. It doesn't really matter um, because this is going to stick to the breast without anything holding it on, which traditional phalanges do not do. Very, very cool. There are three sizes available with these. You can choose two when you order it. You can choose a small and medium or a medium and a large. These are a little bit different. You don't have to have the exact number like we do on a lot of other phalanges. Let me tell you what the sizing is here. So if you are 17 millimeters or smaller, that's the actual measurement of your nipple, you would use a size small. If you are measuring your nipple at 18 to 23 millimeters, you would use a medium. And if you are measuring 23, 24 or more, you would use a large. So it's pretty simple. Jessica Anderson with Genuine Lactation actually tried out all three and it was really interesting to hear some of her thoughts on there. I'll put a link to her blog post article down below because I love working with her and she also does a lot of pump stuff, which is really cool. Next, let's dive into another big part of this pump, which is the tubing, okay? So it has a little bag with a magnet and you store the tubing right in there um, in between pumping sessions. This tubing is what makes the whole thing work, okay? So this is very unique. It has two tubes, okay? They're very small and they're attached to one another. One tube is for air, one tube is for milk, okay? So this pump is actually a multi-user pump because you can just get your own set of tubes and phalange 
and it nothing is going through the mechanism. I actually think it's it's listed as a multi-user pump. So when you're finished, you can pass this on to another mom. You could share it at work if you wanted to. I'll have to double check what the motor life is on it, you know, but sanitation wise, you could totally use this for whatever you want it there. Okay. So one end of the tube oh, tubing goes in the bottom of the flange here. There is a quick guide instructions when it comes with it shows you how to set it up. So the tubing goes in here. Okay. And then there's a little hard part that goes on too, which you need to make it work effectively. Okay. So you've got the flange. That's the part that goes in your bra. This part goes on the little post and you can turn the post on or off. So if you only want to pump one side, you totally can. You just turn the post off or on. Okay. So I'm actually going to turn this post off and this post on okay this is where this suction is so we're gonna hook it here and the other end goes in the bottle all right so while I'm hooking this on you can probably guess that this pump is not hackable with other pump parts you cannot use different phalanges you cannot use different bottles you cannot use different tubing it is what it is okay all right so you can you can do both sides there if you want but that's it. If you have any problems while you're using this pump, the most common issue is a setup error. So either this tubing isn't seated in here all the way, or this isn't quite set up right, something like that. On that note, I will say that this pump does have a little bit of a learning curve, but I'm convinced that all pumps have a learning curve. If you've pumped before, you can set this up and figure this out pretty quickly. If this is your very first pump, read the instructions, but I think you're gonna have to do that with any pump, okay? The customer service at Babyation is fantastic. So if you run into any problems at all, just reach out to them. Okay, so you have a couple different modes. I have had this charged and guess what? It has a battery, so we don't have to have it plugged in, which is also a huge pro. So I'm gonna show you what this flange is doing here. This is in stimulation mode. This is one of the fastest speeds that it goes on, but check this out. So if you can see that, it's kind of doing a pulsing motion. When I tried this out, actually my nipple only went in about halfway, and then it just kind of pulsed. I will do a video on Instagram, actually with my artificial nipple in it, so you can see YouTube does not like it when I put nipples, even if they are fake nipples on their videos, whatever. Okay, so it's not doing like that tugging motion that we see with other pumps. It's kind of ballooning. I, maybe like a pulsing, pulsing I guess you could maybe call it. It's really interesting. So the company claims that if you have elastic nipples, meaning a lot of elasticity in your tissue, everyone has elasticity, but if you have a lot and you consistently find with other pumps that your nipples are hitting the back, they're stretching so far, this really shouldn't be an issue with this pump because it's not pulling your nipple at all. It's just kind of like pulsing it, tugging it from the sides. I don't know, it's really cool to watch. This is, in my opinion, more consistent to what a baby does. They're not actually like pulling their nipple clear down and stretching it to crazy lengths like we see in a pump. I feel like the, the mechanisms of a baby suckling at the breast is much more similar to this than traditional pumps. And I think that's what they were going for. They did a lot of research on sucking and decided to make it this way on purpose. All right, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so while you're pumping, air is coming in one side and milk is coming into the other. Milk travels all the way down this tube and into the bottle. Very cool. They also have an app where you can control all of this on an app, all right? Now, here's where this pump gets interesting. And this is probably one of the the biggest downsides to this pump, although you'll just have to decide how big of an issue it is for you. Okay, so let's think about this. If milk is coming into this tube, you finish up your pump session. If you let it run for a couple se seconds, most of the rest of the milk comes out of this tube. Very, very, very little is lost within the tube, if any, but there's milk in the tube. So you cannot clean these tubes. They are too small. They will never dry. And if you do try to do that, it will ruin your pump. So the guidelines from the company is that these tubes need to re be replaced every 24 hours. Okay. So if you're using your pump throughout the day, you can store it in here with a little cooler. It's 
in, it kind of seems like a little bit of the fridge hack to me. It's cooled down, the milk is coming through. Breast milk can sit at room temperature for four to six hours per the CDC. It's even longer in some other countries. <laughs> so you can let your milk sit in the tube and then run it through again. It's not gonna be a problem, especially if you've got a cooler pack in there. If you go more than six hours between pumps, then you do need a new set of tubes, all right? Because the milk just can't sit in there that long. So that's the only major downside, in my opinion, to this pump is you will be using quite a bit of tubing. The tubing is not um, that expensive. It does come with 20, 20 sets of tubing. You can use a coupon code down below and get 20 additional sets of tubing for free. I think 20 sets is $35, something like that. So you're looking at $1.75, pardon my live math skills there, um, per set, per day, okay? So that's the something you need to consider with this pump is the cost of use. If you're a working mom, um, pumping five days a week um, for four weeks, that's 20. You would need a set of 20 tubes a month, $35, okay? So uh, we have some other pumps that have that cost of use willow is an example too if you are using the bags those are about 50 cents each and so you have that cost of use there as well so this is not the only pump that we have to take that into consideration if you want this pump there's going to be some cost you cannot use other tubing you cannot clean it please don't try that um, <laughs> because it will not work um, so that's just something kind of interesting to note about this pump they do have a recycling program as far as i know and you can partner with them to recycle the tubes, which is cool. Okay, I'm gonna run through with you a list of pros and cons and then tell you who I think this pump would be good for and maybe who it, maybe another pump would be better for you, <laughs> okay? So the pros, I have some notes here, so I'm just gonna refer to them as I'm talking to you here. This is super discreet, less discreet than wearable pumps. It is much easier. You do have tubing, but the bulkiness here is almost nothing, okay? Did I show you these little, they have two different sizes of pads based on your actual breast size. Stick it right in your bra, it's like so easy. This is a really discreet design. So you can actually have the tubing in here, close it up. No one would probably know what this is. So if you're looking for like in the workplace, something super discreet, this is that. It's multi-user, that's awesome all-in-one bottle cooler storage. This is all you are gonna need to take with you. It's got everything. If you were headed for a day out with pumping, this is everything. There's no bulky parts. This has the minimal amount of cleaning that I've ever seen on a pump. Really, it's just this. It's one piece, okay? <laughs> that's like, that's nothing because you don't clean the tubes and the bottles are all stored in there. Like, that's crazy cool. They have excellent customer service. You can use whatever bra you want or no bra, which is also really cool. They have an app for use and tracking your milk, which is so cool. The phalange size is very forgiving. So we can kind of forget a lot of the other stuff we were dealing with with phalange sizing. This is very forgiving because it's not that tug, that tug and release system. It's different. Very cool. It has a battery option so it does not need to be plugged in it's also very quiet okay here's my list of cons slash considerations that you just need to be aware of the operating cost is pretty high with this pump so the tubing you do have to replace it every 24 hours so that does add up some of the other benefits of this pump might actually be worth that to you there is a little bit of a learning curve just because it's a atypical design it's not hard to figure out though and they include all these little quick guide cards with it, so it, it makes it really easy. This is not hackable with other parts, so you won't, if you really like Lactech phalanges, you will not be able to use that here, but honestly, you won't want to because these are great, <laughs> really, really cool. It does turn off with any kind of minor tilting, and you're still hooked up to tubing, so if those things are a big deal to you, those are just some things to consider. As we wrap up this babyation pump, my overall thoughts on it are this is a really cool pump. I love the design. I love what they're trying to do. I think this could be one of the most comfortable pumps just because of the suction style that they've chosen to do with this pump. I love that it's all in one. 
The only downside for me is just how often you have to replace those tubing, but that design feature is how they were able to get some of these other features that moms have been asking for. So to me, it's kind of that give and take, right? So I think this pump would be great for working moms, moms who are pumping often or exclusive pumping moms. If you could get a full day's worth out of your tubing or you wanna, you're want to, you going to be pumping at work, use the same thing for the whole day. I love that this is all in one. It's super discreet. It's quiet. I think this would be ideal for moms in that situation. I think also if you wanted the most discreet and wearable option possible without having to deal with some of the downsides of wearable pumps and cups, sometimes they don't empty you quite as well as a traditional flange. I think this is a great compromise. I do think that these will empty more efficiently than the cups. There's also a lot more room for hands-on pumping, which a lot of you complain about with the wearable pumps because there's just not enough room to get your hands on and help with that flow. This is so tiny, okay? So that's all there. If you want minimal parts to clean, this is that pump. This has by far the lowest cleaning parts that I've seen, okay? Or if you will be traveling often, the fact that this is all in one, it's just there, it's designed for that. There's minimal parts. You don't have to pack multiple sets of phalanges and bottles and, and bags and like all this stuff. It's one thing. So I think that's great. A couple of scenarios where I don't think this would be the ideal pump for you, all right? Because this is what we do on this channel. We help you make a decision on what you think is gonna work best for you. If you are inconsistently pumping, so maybe you're a stay-at-home mom and you're just going to be pumping here and there, I think the cost of, of running this pump for you is gonna be something you really need to consider. Because if you're like, if you only are pumping, once a day or a couple times a week, you do have to get a new tubing every time you do that, um, which is not a huge deal. If you're not pumping that much, it probably doesn't matter. Um, this is also a $500 pump. So I, I would just kind of take that into consideration. What are your actual goals? If you're like, yeah, I'm, I pump occasionally, but I'm headed out on a couple of weekend trips or I got a bachelorette party coming up in a few months I know about, maybe this is a good pump for you because again, it's that all-in-one system. So you just kind of have to weigh what your lifestyle is like, what your plan, what your pumping needs are gonna be, okay? Also something to note, the bottle capacity on here is five ounces. So if you are a mom who consistently pumps a lot more than five ounces on one breast, this may also not be the ideal solution for you because you will have to change that over. And I think that would kind of be a little bit annoying mid-pump session. I don't, if you are pumping that much, you have an oversupply. So um, I don't want you to think that that's bad. You can have an oversupply and it can be totally fine, but this may not be great if you have an oversupply or are planning on a large amount of milk. And so I would consider this, just make sure that you understand how it works and what that's gonna mean for you. But overall, I think this is a really interesting pump. I think that there's a couple scenarios where this would be a dynamite option for you. So I would love to know what you think. What were your favorite features? What are your, some of your hangups? Let's, let's talk down in the comments and see like, what are your pumping goals? Do you think this would be good for you? I would really love to know. Again, I'm going to put some links to some additional resources and over on Instagram, I will do some actual testing on some breasts for you to show you what this does and you can find that over there. Don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of this. I think I'll make a video here soon with some graphs to show you what that constant suction looks like. Maybe how it differs than pumps like the Limerick or the Willow because those also have constant suction. So let's check that out on another video, but I hope you enjoy. We'll see you soon. Bye.